Welcome to Kwon's Corner. Today, I'm going to teach you how to make songpyeong, which is Korean traditional Thanksgiving rice cake. Let's get started. Today is a special episode. Last week was Chuseok, or Korean Thanksgiving. So today we are making songpyeon, or Thanksgiving rice cakes, to celebrate. First, we need 100 grams of non-glutinous rice flour. Put it in a big bowl and add a dash of salt. Mix it well. Originally, songpyeon was called songbyeong. Song means pine tree, and byeong means rice cake. So songbyeong meant pine tree rice cake. Now, we need hot water. Add 2 tablespoons of hot water to the bowl and mix well. We need to add little by little. After the water is fully mixed, add one more spoon and mix well. Adding hot water to your dough will create a more chewy texture later. Dongpyeon are traditionally in the shape of a hot moon. But Chuseok Korean Thanksgiving is always on a full moon. You can think of Songpyeon as the Korean version of Chinese mooncake. Squeeze and knead your dough until it is the texture of Play-Doh. Then, roll it into a ball and place it in a large dry bowl. Cover the bowl with a damp cloth and put to the side. Now we are doing the exact same thing but this time, we are going to add some colors. I'm adding pumpkin powder, beet powder, green tea powder, and sweet potato powder. You can add anything you want to create more colors. Get creative! Add 3 to 4 tablespoons of hot water to it and knead knead knead. A long time ago, Korea was made of three kingdoms, Goguryeo, Baekje, and Silla. One day, a Silla fortune teller proclaimed that the fortune of the dynasty was a half moon that would soon become a full moon. Shortly after that, the three kingdoms united, fulfilling the fortune teller's prophecy. After that, Koreans made half moon shaped songpyeon as a hope for a better future. Make sure that your songpyeon is smooth and uniform. Songpyeon dough te texture is really important and it should have the same texture as your earlobe. Place them all in the big bowl with your white one and cover it up with the damp cloth. Otherwise, the dough will dry up. Alternatively, you can zip up your dough in plastic bags, but it's better to not use plastic. Now it's time to make the filling. Get 5 to 6 dates. Cut out the pits, then roll out your dates. Stack them and slice them thinly. Then, place it in a small bowl. There's an old superstition that if you can make a pretty songpyeon, you will have a pretty daughter. So when I was young, everyone in my family used to come together on Chuseok and compete to see who could make the pretty songpyeon. Because making songpyeon is so easy and fun, it was one of my favorite things to do when I was young. Another old superstition is that if your songpyeon is undercooked, you will have a daughter. But if it is cooked just right, you will have a son. Now we need peanuts. Place a couple of unsalted peanuts in a Tupperware and shake hard to get the skins off. I learned this from my mom, Chef Lee. It's kind of a life hack. Pick out the peanuts and place it in a plastic bag. Then, using a large flat knife or cleaver, crush those nuts. Place your crushed peanuts in a small bowl. Then, do the same with unsalted walnuts. Making songpyeon can be as simple or complicated as you make it. If you want to keep it simple, just make white dough and fill it with one filling. 
If you want to get creative, you can fill with black beans, chestnut, red beans, black bean sesame seed, white beans, mung beans, or even sweet potato. Now, get 2 tablespoons of roasted sesame seed and grind finely. Place in your last small bowl. Add 1 teaspoon of sugar and 1 teaspoon of honey to each bowl. Mix each bowl well. When the fillings are fully mixed, it's time to make songpyeon. Tear off a piece of dough about the size of a golf ball. Roll it well. Then, press it into a bowl shape. And add a heaping spoonful of any filling you like. Then, pinch your bowl closed dumpling style. Squeeze your dumpling gently to let the air out. It will sound like a little dumpling fart. Make sure to get all the air out. You can then pinch the top edge of the songpyeon to create half moon shape. This is the traditional shape of songpyeon. It's a little Korean moon cake. Next, we are going to try a round songpyeon. After closing your filling into the songpyeon and farting out all the air, roll the songpyeon into a ball again. Use a toothpick to cut lines into the circle, mimicking orange slices. Be careful not to cut too deeply or the songpyeon will break. Then add a little green stem and some green leaves. It's a pumpkin! Happy Halloween! <laughs> Next, I'm making a strawberry. I used a fork to poke strawberry seeds into the songpyeon. I made a green leaf and a purple eggplant too. You can make anything you can think of, so get creative. When I was young, I only made half moon shaped songpyeon with my family. I never made different shapes. But since songpyeon is so much like a play-doh, it's easy. Next, get a large bowl of water and some pine needles. Wash your pine needles well and let them soak in the bowl of water. Now add boiling water to a large pot and bring to a boil on medium-high heat. Place your bamboo steamer inside your bowl. It should be above the water, not in it. And make a bed of pine needles on the tray. Place your songpyeon on top of the pine needles and cover them up. Let them steam for 15 minutes. If you can't find pine needles, you can just put a damp cloth under your songpyeon. But steaming your songpyeon on pine needles doesn't just give the rice cake a fresh beautiful smell, but also works as a preservative to keep them fresher longer. Make sure you use a mitten. These steamers get hot. After 15 minutes, our songpyeons are fully cooked. Place your songpyeon in a bowl of ice water. This will make the songpyeon less sticky and more chewy. Once they are cooled down, place them in a large bowl. And drizzle with sesame oil. Massage the songpyeon in oil. Then, place back in the bamboo steamer or on a pretty plate. That's it! Our songpyeon is all ready to eat! Ooh, look at how pretty it is. I never made the strawberry and a eggplant before. And pumpkin. Usually in Korean Thanksgiving, we make this shape, that's the authentic rice cake shape. But I got creative. So let's try it. Mmm! Look at the inside filling! It tastes so good! I was so worried because I wasn't I didn't put a lot of filling because I didn't wanna get messed up and it blow up in the steamer. Steaming. 
I don't know, whatever steaming process, but it tastes so good. It's so chewy and caramelized, and I am having a walnut one, and it's so good. I really like it. You should definitely try this at home. So, see you next week. Annyeong! It's good. I made it. Hello guys, thank you for watching. If you like this episode, please hit the like and subscribe. And if you want to see more video, it's over there. Over there and over there. And if you have any requests, please comment down below. And I will make sure to cover it in a future episode. See you next week. Annyeong!